Hi, I'm Frank Baltierez, and welcome to the video series, How to Build Your Food Truck, where I show you step-by-step -step how you can build your full kitchen on wheels. I like to call it the money-making machine on wheels, where you can turn an empty trailer or a truck, and you can convert it, as you see behind me on Big Red, into a full kitchen on wheels with the hood, with the plumbing, the electrical, the window, the, the tip jar table, I like to call it, as well as the gas lines. All those things I cover on a step-by-step -step basis on this video series, How to Build Your Food Truck, where all the previous videos to this, I show you exactly how you do it step-by-step. -step. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been a fellow subscriber, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please put your comments in the description, in the comment section, and I answer each and every one myself so I can help you and I guide you on how I built my food trucks one being Big Red behind me. Other ones are Rolling Burritos, which is my personal food truck where I serve breakfast burritos. But with that being said, enough yapping. Let's get right to it. I'm gonna show you a tour of the outside and some of the materials that I have used to build out my favorite layout on food trucks. There are many layouts that you can use on food trucks and trailers. This is the one that I have loved and I have used like continuously because it is a very flowy and very nice setup. But again, it's all personal, but personal based. As long as it works for you, it's all good because at the end, construction is construction, electrical is electrical, plumbing is plumbing. It's just you put it into different places. That's all that changes. But with that being said, let's move on to the window because as I said, I'm gonna show you all the materials that I've used and why I picked this specific brand of trailer. This brand of trailer is made by Cargo Mate. It's kind of like buying a, a pickup truck or a car. You buy a Ford, you buy a Chevy, you buy a Dodge, and, and then you got the model being like an F-150 or a Silverado. This is a Cargo Mate Blazer. I love this specific trailer because, I'm gonna show you in the front right now why I love it, but the other reason I love it is because from the door to the back, there's enough space for me to fit this window. This window, I bought it from a company called JR Aluminum. They are in Ohio and they make a great product. I've been out there twice to pick up windows. They got a great factory, great people. Um, and they do, like I said, a phenomenal quality that I have never had an issue with like the shocks or the springs. They make it with the screens on here because a lot of health departments want this screen where, you know, obviously no flies can go in and things like that. So they make um, specific to what you want. They have many models. Make sure that you reach out to them. There's no affiliate or anything. I just have a really good relationship with them. Real good review. Been positive, positive uh, feedback from them. So this is them. This is what I like to call my tip jar. I order this when I order my window. This one is model 23A. I know it because I've used it all the time. It's two sections. One of them is here where I serve the food. And the other one's over here where I collect my money. And this one right here is their serving table as they call it. This one is just two little latches that make it go up and down and it locks. And it's nice because, you know, when you're driving it doesn't move around. And typically here what I put is my tip jar. That tip jar has made me a lot of money. And again, it paid pretty much for this table already. So there's that part. As you can see on the right and on the left of the window, you have your lights. I'm gonna turn them on, you can stay right there. You guys will see these on as well as something cool that I added around it. So right here I have my switches. So I have my two lights, which obviously at night, you can light up around where you're at and you can see your customers. And you can't really see it, but if you look here, you have this rope lighting right there. And you can change colors. This one I bought at Home Depot. All these products that I'm telling you about, I have them on a spreadsheet to make it easy for you guys to find. I do, um, provide access to that if you want to reach out to me at rolling burritos food truck at gmail.com i do have i can give you access to that it's a google sheets but just so you guys know you guys can find all the same information for free on all my descriptions because i do put my amazon affiliate links on every video so you can find the same information you just have to kind of work a little bit for it or if you want instant access i can give that to you guys again rolling burritos food truck at gmail.com you can reach me and I will answer you and I'll tell you how you can get access to that. So that's that part over there. Um, the other part, when you go into the front, this is the main reason why I like this trailer, is because from the door jam right here, 
to the tongue of the trailer or the front of the trailer is a specific distance that once we do part two of the tour on the inside, I'm gonna show you what goes here because you have your hand sink and you have your three compartment sink and it all fits in the front which allows your plumbing to stay in one place. I don't have to like do plumbing on one side and the other. It's all right here in the front on the inside. This right here is where you fill your water tanks. They call it the gravity fill valve and is made, made by Valterra. Down under here, as you guys can see, there's two little nozzles. Those are called your dump valves and they're like little levers. They're made by Valterra as well. And this is why I use this specific trailer because there are other trailers on there outside. I've looked for a lot of them, different brands, different styles. Some of them have the door over here and it won't allow me to put on my plumbing. Some of them have it all the way over here and it cuts down on your window space. So there's a happy medium and that's why I pick this specific trailer brand being Cargo Mate Blazer. It's a little bit hard to find, but if you find it, you made a good choice. Or if you have it custom made, make sure that you get like this. It's about 32 inches, I believe, right around there. 32 inches from here to there. So that's it for this part. Let's move on to the main section, which is the tongue of the trailer. Let's move on to the front of the trailer here. This is where all the goodies are at, so to speak. Because without this, your trailer really won't work. Uh, if you use propane, that is. I use propane for all my cooking equipment. The reason I do it, and I receive a lot of comments about this, why don't you use electric? It's, I don't use electric cooking equipment because it sucks up a lot of electricity. And the more electricity you have, the bigger generator that you have. And my generator fits right here. And I use the Westinghouse generator. The one I use, I'm gonna show you right now in my food truck, which is where I have it. it pulls about 30 amps. And it fits perfectly right here. This is a Strongberg trailer tray. And I leave my generator sitting right here. And then I put ratchet straps over it. And this is where my generator stays pretty much all year. And uh, it works perfect because I don't have to take it off, bring it on, take it off, bring it on. And it's super quiet. It's like a whisper, like a little mouse in the front. I can still hear all my customers and get all the power that I need. But down here, you have your propane. The, I have a setup of two 30 pound tanks. I didn't want to use 20. I, don't, I couldn't fit 40 because it's too tall. So I went with 30. 30 is plenty for me, depending on your cooking habits. So here it is. There's a, this doesn't come with the trailer, just so you guys know. This is a propane tray and it fits between the tongue, between both sides of the frame. Um, and back here, you guys can see, this is a propane regulator changeover made by Fairview or Fairway, something like that. And what I love about this is that when one tank empties, let's say the right one empties, if you guys can see on here, the little stick is pointing to the right. That means that's the one that's being in use. If that one runs out of propane, all I do is go like this, boom. And instantly I can change over to my other tank being the left one. And then obviously when your shift is over or whenever you're done for the night, you can go fill the other one that's empty out and then you can just do the same thing back to back to back. So it's a beautiful way to never run out of propane when you're in the field. So you got your little pigtails that run there. These are 15 inch pigtails. They make so there's different sizes that you can buy. One thing that you want to make sure of when you buy these, um, they call them propane pigtails, is the ends over here. There's different kind of ends. I didn't even know that they existed. There's called an in inverted tip flare. And that's the one that I use. But I didn't, I didn't know that until like I actually got into working with these things. And that's how it will happen with you guys. You guys will find different ways. Maybe what I show you is just a guideline of how you can perfect it for yourself and make it better. Because you guys might be better at doing it than I am. Maybe you guys are, are, are expert builders, which is fine. And I love the feedback. Please help me because I love to be able to improve on my construction skills. This right here is my Reliance plug. They make two different ones. They make a 50 amp, which is what this one is, and they make a 30 amp. And all it is is a twist, like a twist connect like that. This is the Reliance 50 amp plug as well. This is called the 50 amp inlet box. And all you do is stab it in, just like that. Make sure that your little uh, silver things line up. And then you twist it just like that. That's how this works. This right now is connected to an extension cord. This is just a regular extension cord that you can uh, use at like your house or at your commissary. That way you're not running your generator 
all the time because there's no reason to, right? You want to keep your generator running for years and years and years. And if you don't have to use it, don't use it. So this is, like I said, running on an extension cord. I made it and I show you guys how to make that as well on these videos. But as I said, this is a 50 amp. They make a 30 amp. And what I do is I take a power cord from here all the way to the back, which I'll show you on part two of the video of the inside. And that's how I run it to the breaker panel. Just kind of like you would at your house. This would be the power coming in from your power company. For us, it's ComEd. For you, it could be Nipsco or somebody different, uh, depending what part of the country you're in or the world. So that would be where your power comes in from your power company. And then from here, it runs to your breaker panel that you would have in your house, your apartment, your condo, your townhouse. And it's the same concept in, in a trailer. It's kind of like a house, but like a mobile home. So with that, let me show you my generator, the last part of this tour of the outside. And then on part two, which I'll upload here pretty soon, we'll go on the inside and we'll show you the real cool stuff, which is like the hood, the plumbing, the sinks, and all that fun stuff that I use. So let's go to the back and let's finish up this video. Right here is a generator I was telling you guys about. This is my Westinghouse generator that I use. It, like I said, it pulls about 30 amps and I use each and every one of those amps to the max, especially when I use my food warmer. Food warmers suck up a lot of electricity because they have a heating element that maintains the food warm. This one is a dual fuel one. I bought a dual fuel one. You guys really don't need one. The reason I bought dual fuel, I was like, you know what? Maybe if I'm in the field, I'll run out of gas and I can run this to the propane tanks. But to be honest, I don't really run out of gas. This thing is really good on fuel. It takes about three gallons and it, it can last you a good couple days depending on your use again. If you're running 16 hour days of cooking, then obviously you might run out of gas. But if you're not, you won't really run out of fuel. So there's two options. One of them's cheaper, I think, which is just a regular fuel, not a dual fuel. So it's up to you, you can buy dual fuel, you can buy a regular one, just a regular single gasoline use. But at the end of the day, Westinghouse is a really nice generator, has never failed me, powers up just like that. On the first, on the first uh, shot, it's an electronic push button start, so you don't have to pull anything. You just push a button and the generator starts right up. So that's my recommendation for generators. They do make 50 amp ones, not in this brand, but there's other ones that I'll link in the description here for you guys to see. Again, just so I end it, this is a 30 amp one. My trailer has a 30 amp one. You guys can see the inside is just a hair different of these connectors. But again, it depends on your energy usage of what you're gonna use. Make sure that you um, add up your watts and then that'll give you your amps if you divide it by about 120 if you're using 120 power. So that's the recommendation that I can give you. Make sure you add up your energy usage and that'll tell you what gauge wire you need and what kind of generator you need as well. Again, these are the ratchet straps that we got to keep this generator. Good thing it didn't fall off. Imagine that on the video. <laughs> so again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Again, comment any questions you have on this video below and I answer each and every each and every one myself. Again, I'm Frank Baltieres on the DIY series, How to Build Your Food Truck. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing.